Okay, so we've uh, we've been to seventeen different rounds, uh, three three tests over the two thousand and eleven period. Um, we've um, we've done it. <laughs> we've gone from the temperatures of uh, forty eight degrees track temperature to uh, sixteen degrees track temperature. Uh, the tyres that we've taken over the year, I mean, if you put it in a range ranges from seven different compounds so we've actually done a really good job of making sure that the compounds work in all sorts of conditions uh, the last race for example we were using slicks in pra on practically or a wet track so uh, you know to, for those tyres to work in that condition uh, probably a few years ago we wouldn't have been able to do that uh, the, um, the the Pressures of uh, the, the hard tracks like Qatar, where there's the sand always on the track, and the riders always complain about grip level. We were able to go quicker, and the tyres lasted longer than they did the previous year, so we were very happy there. Then we go to Jerez, which is a very even circuit. Uh, the temperatures are different, and a lot different to what they were in the Urta test. Uh, we took the best tyres from the Urta test uh, to that race uh, after much uh, consideration and talk, uh, meetings with teams and riders from from there and we uh, basically were able to go from what we were saying a 20 degree track to uh, a 40 degree track with the same compounds and they work perfectly so the actual um, what we, we were trying to do is make a, a a smaller range of tyres but with a bigger working range of those compounds and constructions which we achieved. Uh, the, the the likes of your special tracks of uh, Saxon Ring and Phillip Island where we tried uh, new dual compounds and dual constructions again there was a lot of success there with the uh, the, the new compounds, we, we actually went harder on the non-working sides uh, to improve performance, uh, which again it did, it improved and can only be happy with that. The, uh, the fronts, we, we moved the range down from I think five, six fronts last year, uh, this year we used three and uh, those three compounds were able to work at every track. The the softer one of the three we decided towards the end of the year we probably didn't need that one and we reduced it again by one uh, only taking two to the last uh, five choosable races that we would have took them to uh, the the constructions again helped uh, the um, the asymmetric uh, rear tyres in uh, Phillip Island where we see a lot of heat build up on the uh, left hand side and very little heat build up on the right hand side again was a testament to how our te technical guys have been listening to the uh, the comments of the riders, the teams, the engineers and uh, you know we couldn't have asked for much more there the normally what the temperatures we would see 140 reasonable temperature in, in the left hand side we we managed to knock that down to give them more consistency, and we managed where we would no, normally see only uh, 80 degrees in the right hand side of that tyre. We we managed to increase that to 95. So uh, overall, we we balanced the tyre out perfectly by going uh, the new isometric and new um, construction for that track. The um, the Malaysian ones where we've always struggled, it's a very slippery track in Malaysia. Again we take, we took the uh, the high ambient tyre from last year that we uh, originally used in uh, Mazzano on a freezing cold day, a uh, freezing cold weekend that was unfortunate. But we, was, we were able to see that it was still able to do the job even though it was created to do uh, high ambient temperatures there. And when we took it to Malaysia the tracks at 46 degrees it was still doing the job there so completely different tracks humidity is high in uh, Malaysia very low in Mazzano 
and uh, you know that was really good.